Uh, Mr. Buffett, throughout your life, you have repeatedly under-promised and over-delivered. For many recent years, for example, you have targeted Berkshire Hathaway's long-term book value growth at 15%, yet you have come through at about 24%. That is a big gap of 9% between your modesty and the outcome. Perhaps the biggest dose of modesty in corporate history. May I ask, why is there such a big gap between your modesty and the outcome? <laughs> uh, I don't think it was modesty. I think it was, uh, uh, for one thing, we've had, a, we've had a terrific market that re has reappraised all businesses in the last 10 or 15 years. So when we really started worrying about future performance, uh, the key factor was having larger amounts of capital. Uh, and, and there's no question that the, the, the larger the amount of capital you work with, the, the more difficult the job is. Now, we were fortunate that that uh, ascension in, in capital happened to coincide with things that just lifted all the boats uh, substantially. And uh, so we, we have had better luck than I would have guessed we would have had uh, 10 years ago or five years ago. But it's been aided by a huge tailwind. And uh, absent that tailwind, we would not have done as well. I think maybe we would have done relatively as well, but, but we would not have done as well in absolute terms. And we won't have that tailwind in the future. I can, I can assure you of that. But we will have a larger amount of capital, which is the anchor that, that, that works on us. So if Charlie and I could make a deal to increase the intrinsic value of Berkshire, at 15% a year over the next 10 years, we would sign up now. And I, I don't want you to even tempt us with lower numbers because it, it, those numbers get astounding. If we paid no dividend at all uh, uh, over a 10-year period, uh, you, know, you, you can figure out where a 15% rate would take us. And we hope to get there, but we think that is absolutely uh, the tops. And, it's, and I think it's very likely for a period when, when uh, the market starts underperforming businesses, that uh, the rate could be very substantially lower than that. Charlie, do you want to expand on that? Well, the questioner came from Singapore, which has perhaps the best economic record in the history of developing a, uh, an economy. And therefore, he referred to 15% per annum as modest. It's not modest, it's arrogant. Uh, <laughs> And only somebody from Singapore would call it modest. Yeah. Yeah. Be, ca be careful, Charlie, or they'll have a voice vote that we should move to Singapore. I mean, <laughs> this, this is the group that wants, wants performance. The, uh, yeah, it, large quantities of money are not going to compound at super rates, uh, at super compound rates. Large, uh, small sums probably aren't either, but large sums aren't. And if anybody promises, anybody that manages large sums of money that promises uh, or implies that they can achieve really outstanding uh, returns, uh, you know, I'd stay away from them. Uh, the, the numbers, the numbers just get too big. And you know, you've seen some of that with certain money management organizations uh, uh, in recent years, and, and you know. 15% on, on an intrinsic value, which is substantially greater than our book value, gets to be a very, very big number. And uh, we, need, we need huge ideas. We don't need thousands of ideas. I mean, we, we might need them, but we could never come up with them. So it, we, we, what we look for is the very large idea. Uh, but we're not, we're not finding them now. And, uh, uh, we'll keep looking, and every now and then we will find something. But it, it, it really, if you um, if you think we're going to have any chance of doing better than 15 percent, and believe me, I, that is no number that I'd want to sign my name to. But if it, you really shouldn't. Uh, you're going to be disappointed in Berkshire, and uh, we don't want to disappoint you. So that's the reason we try to be realistic about expectations.